and in the scandal that destroyed Richard Nixon. Liddy served four years in prison for his role in the Watergate break-in. He still has a romantic fascination with it. The vanity plate on his car is proof of that. Since those days, Liddy has remained a magnet for public attention. Guest appearances on Miami Vice, film roles, a best-selling book about his life. And recently, Liddy surfaced as headmaster of a very unusual school, a school for his kind of killers. Our Steve McPartland went to one of the classes. It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. You just got out of your car. You're on the way to the bank to cash a check. You come walking up towards the bank. All of a sudden, you see something, something's up. You get that sixth sense, that feeling. You see, you see somebody move inside, a dark a shadow move to the side. There's a woman with a baby. She's running. Someone screamed. It's too late. You can't turn around. There's a man with a gun. Someone shot. Help! Private eye George Troxell has decided to go back to school for a refresher course in crisis situations. He's being tutored in a G. Gordon Liddy classroom. The hostage! Holster! Too late. She's dead. The time was up. George knows that in the private security game, the weapons pointed at him won't always be cardboard. You're in a situation where you have to make a decision a life and death decision in a half to one second. <laughs> and the grand jury, quite honestly with you, has weeks to decide what it took you one second to decide. So any kind of professionalism that you can develop to help you or aid you in making that decision, uh, I would say is very valuable, wouldn't you? Meet the founder and headmaster of this new school, G. Gordon Liddy. You probably remember Liddy from the Watergate days and the bungled burglary that cost him four years in prison. But today, his controversial expertise are the subject of classroom lectures delivered with all the authority of a university professor. The G. Gordon Liddy Academy is designed for persons who are either already in or who aspire to be in the business of being a private detective or corporate security. There is probably no other organization in the country who can give people that kind of training. And about the only thing else you'll find are these little things on the back of matches saying, enjoy the thrill of arrest and send your five dollars. Well, the tuition at the Liddy School is more than five dollars. In fact, it's twenty-seven hundred dollars and the entire school year is only three weeks long. But the lecture material can be as gripping as a James Bond novel. As you draw, you step to the side comes down and out like that. Now, notice, stable. Notice, leaning forward. Why? Because if you are hit, you want to fall forward where you can continue firing at your adversary until you're all the way down. Every time you shoot someone, kill him. If this school were to publish a yearbook this semester, the faculty wouldn't be All able right. to claim the only famous face. The president's son, Ronald Reagan Jr., has enrolled. He will finish the program and then write an article about it for Playboy magazine. One of the journalists who took your course was Ron Reagan Jr. Was he a good student? From what I'm told by his instructors, yes. He's, he's got a good wit. He's great. I've, I've had a lot of fun with him. I think he's had a lot of fun with me. We haven't cut him any slack. He's working to the same standards as everybody else, I can tell you that right now. He's doing great. Reagan and his classmates are being trained by a professional anti-terrorist group that Liddy has hired. They will be taught how to use a 9mm semi-automatic pistol, an assault rifle that's similar to the military's M16, Yes, sir. You just get off my property. What's he got now? And finally, how to use these weapons in potential crisis situations, like this drill, which simulates a hostage emergency. Your adversary must have, A, the ability to harm you, B, the opportunity to do so, and C, you must be in jeopardy. When all three of those elements are present, and only when all three of those elements are present, are you justified in using deadly physical force. And it's those three factors that George Troxell will have to weigh within a split second as they lead him to another hypothetical crisis scene. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. You just got out of the police station. You know what you're doing in the police station? You're explaining what happened in the bank. You just went through six hours of questioning. That hostage got killed. You don't ever want that to happen again. Six hours. Now you have to go back to a grand jury. You have to go to another jury. They don't want to know what happened, why, who you shot, how come. Six hours. They let you out. You finally got your check cashed. 
You gotta go have a beer. You're on the way into your friend's saloon. You walk up to the thing, and all of a sudden, you get another sixth sense, another feeling. No, it couldn't be happening again. Up! Up! I believe that there is a stigma that goes along with some of the people who might be a part of your academy, that they are loners, that they're a bit off-center. How do you feel about that? In every group of people, there are the good, the bad, the indifferent, the competent, the incompetent, and it is no more correct to make universal statements about persons in the protection business than it is to make universal statements about persons in the electronic news gathering business. Gentlemen, it is time to award the certificates of training to those who are leaving us today, having completed this portion of the course. The Liddy Academy claims that these diplomas will make it easier for their graduates to get jobs in the private security and anti-terrorist fields. And many of the students we spoke with believe that's true. What kind of man can do this? Can everybody do it? Any person who does not have a physical handicap can learn to play golf well if they are instructed by Arnold Palmer and have the time to practice daily. Anyone instructed by me or my associates can learn to use a handgun well. When Arnold Palmer was in his prime, he was the best golfer in the land. Are you the best in your field? In terms, first of all, of the instruction, yes, we are the best in the business. Secondly, uh, as to um, who's the best gunfighter, um, I'm still alive. Just a footnote to this story, Steve McPartland discussed with Liddy the weekend temporary exchange of United States journalist Nicholas Daniloff for Soviet spy Gennady Zakharov. Steve asked Liddy what he would do in that circumstance. I'd take a hostage. But sauce for the goose is sauce for the gander. G. Gordon Liddy hasn't changed. After this... What?